coffee nerds. I know I've been gone for quite some time. Maybe you didn't notice. Maybe this is your first time here, in which case, welcome to the Nomad Barista. In any case, I have a confession to make. I love making coffee, but I hate making videos. I like filming, I like recording noises, sounds, interviewing people, setting up a story, writing the script. I guess everything to do with making a video, except for actually making the video itself. Like, uh... Let me take this call here a sec. Hello, you're on camera. No, sorry, I already have, uh, like three, four, four different coffee subscriptions. I think I'm pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, no, just, uh, call back in a few months. Uh, yeah, see ya. Anyways, um, I think what I hate the most is just the editing process, which brings us here to three months later after having not made a single video or posted it on YouTube. And I have like so much content that I'm dying to share with you guys. Stuff from China, stuff from Copenhagen, even stuff from Mexico from like a year ago, almost a year ago. And I just haven't gotten to it because the idea of sitting behind my computer for longer than five minutes editing a video together just brings me anxiety and my intention for this little clip here in the living room was more of a confrontation of my procrastination, I guess, uh, and not just another little brewing tutorial. But in the last few months, uh, during my summer here in Toronto, a lot has happened and we've been basically able to transform this space that we're sitting in right now into a living room speakeasy coffee bar, which is super exciting, called San Coffee Room. And if you look behind you, you'll actually see the Slayer and the grinder setup where we're making espresso-based drinks, um, some milk drinks, playing around with extraction. And if you look over here, we've got our own little pour-over bar with more coffee than we know what to do with, with tons of different roasters. We've got a really cool orange couch back here. We even have this huge unicycle, which none of us know how to use, but we do have it. Now, my counterparts aren't here right now, otherwise, I would introduce them to you. But if you're in the area, downtown Toronto, go over to the Instagram Sand Coffee Room and send us a DM. We will give you the passphrase, we will give you the address, and you can come in here and we'll make some brews for you. So that's what we've been working on brewing coffee, having people in here, doing essentially what I've just done right now with this kung fu table and offering sort of an assortment of a bunch of different coffees and calling it Kung Fu Coffee based on the concept of Kung Fu Cha from China. Actually, while I was in China, I even had my own signature roast <laughs> made up, which is ridiculous, from Valley Coffee Roasters, uh, just out of Shanghai. And we called it the Pina Colada because it just smells like pineapple. It's crazy. Um, so that's what I've been up to. I really wanted to make this video to kind of keep me accountable to continue creating content, continue putting out some videos. I have a lot of content, I just need to put it together. Um, I guess the ultimatum if I hate editing would be to hire an editor, but like, not at that place yet. It's really, really good. If you're in the area, pop by. We may even be starting a little podcast, which we might be recording live and putting on this YouTube channel or kind of putting it together, getting someone else to edit it uh, with the three of us. So I've got these, these two great roommates, both from Ireland, both baristas, and one of them is even a photographer as well. So he'll be able to share with you some of his photography tips, coffee tips, tips. And uh, I don't even know what else I wanted to say here, but essentially look forward to some more video content, hold me to it. Until then, I'll be here in San Coffee Room, drinking my Yunnan coffee, bringing you coffees from around the world. Where?
should we go to next? That is the question. The Pacific Ocean. We will see you there. Stay dry. See you next time.